today you're going to see how you can snatch a Christmas ornament off a tree and make a really cool, wonderful bird bath just for hummingbirds. It's so easy with a couple found items around the house or maybe go to your Dollar Tree and pick up one or two things for a dollar and you'll be able to make a bird bath just like this. So here it is. Let me tell you, I took a trip to Dollar Tree and I saw these globes. These are about five inches. You measure from top to bottom, but you would need a globe, a Christmas ornament that's about five to four inches tall. That will work perfect for a hummingbird. I bought a few little knickknacks here because I'm hanging them out my window, but I saw the balls and thought, oh my gosh, this is the best thing for hummingbirds. It's perfect. It looks like the one I have in my garden that the hummingbirds love. That cost a fortune. I got that one at the thrift store. But this is so easy. We don't need to make it out of cement. We don't need any styrofoam balls. We have a perfect globe. So look and see if you've got a Dollar Tree that may have those ornaments. If they don't, I know the Big Lots has it. You may be able to find it at Target or Walmart. Michaels does carry it. I looked online four inch to five inch balls. So do most dollar stores. So look around. Whoever has Christmas ornaments should have those nice globes. And this one has a lot of texture that I got. But you know what? If you find that the birds are slipping a little bit, I'll tell you something. Towards the end, later on in the video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on slowing down water as well as making it where birds can land because I put this out and I could not believe within seconds the birds dive bombed it. Multiple hummingbirds were coming. Even other birds came to take a bath. Let's get right into this and see how easy it is to make. And you can use whatever you want, a solar fountain kit. You don't need anything but the pump itself and a straw or a tubing or you can use an electric fountain, which I'm using an electric one right now with my power bank. Let's go take a look how easy it is to make. So this is how easy it is to make. This is a plastic Christmas globe. Now see this, I popped the top off. If you have to, you can pop it off with a spoon or a knife, but it came right off. Now we're gonna make a hole on the opposite end because we have one hole already. We just need another hole for the tubing we're gonna put through. Now you can use a straw, whatever solar fountain or electric fountain you're using, whatever is gonna go through, but we need some sort of tubing, whether it's a straw or a tubing. Now, the, what you wanna do is check to see if you made the hole big enough, all right? So try to put the tube or straw through, and if it doesn't go through or it's just way too tight to work with, see, you can take it out and then keep going. So just gently go around the hole and it will stretch that hole and make it a little bit bigger. It's really easy to work with with this globe. Again, this is plastic. This plastic was made in Mexico and it was a really nice plastic. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Now you're gonna guide it all the way through. See, now you can pull it through and look at that. You're gonna be able to guide the water up with this tube through that hole. Now this was a plastic trash can, number five, and this is a bowl both of them from Dollar Tree. The bowls, it was a two pack. So you're getting two for the price of one. Really good, $1.25 each, but the bowls were half, two for $1.25. This bowl fit in perfect to this trash can. See how perfect it is? That's gonna catch the water and the water will go into the trash can. Now we need to make a hole in the center of the bowl here so we can sit the Christmas ornament in. It's gonna be in the center, so I made an X and then I made a circle so I would have a, a guide to where I'm going to melt the plastic with my hot soldering iron. So again, I just go around and make a whole bunch of holes, little holes all the way around, and then what happens is the center will pop right out. See, it just popped out. Now what you wanna do is test to make sure that the globe, the bottom part, will fit in because it's got that piece sticking out. Now, if it doesn't fit, all you have to do is take the hot soldering iron. You'll see in a second, see it just was a little too snug and glide it around the hole you already made. And that will kind of give it that stretch effect. What it does is it's melting the plastic back on itself a little bit and then check it and see if you can get that little spout there to go on and it snaps on perfect. But that's not the way the ball's gonna go on. So you're gonna take that off, but you know your hole is good now. 
Now what you need to do is make a bunch of holes on the bottom for the water to go into the trash can. Now see when you make it on one side, it leaves the plastic. So I like to turn it over and work from the bottom. Whichever way you're putting the soldering iron through, we'll leave a little divot, but the other side will be nice and clean. So now you get all those holes in. More holes are better than less because if it fills up with water, it'll overflow. Then I take the hot soldering iron and I make a notch in the trash can because it doesn't matter if you're using an electric pump or a solar pump, they all have a wire. So it's all gonna just snap in. There it goes, look at this. And then you pull the tubing through. See how nice everything fits? You've got the holes where the water's gonna come out and you've got your tubing there. Now you figure out how much. Now, you could do it by adding on your pump first, but if you're not ready and you don't have a pump yet, you could cut it. Now, what I did here is I got an approximate size because I have so many tubings around here and I cut it approximately what I'm gonna need. I know I'm gonna have to trim it later, but if you wanna save on tubing, put your pump on first and then trim it. So there it is. Now here, this is an electric pump, but you can use a solar pump. All you want to do is put your tubing onto the pump. Now mine has an attachment. Some do, some don't. Whatever way, each one's a little different. Whatever way it goes, you slide it on. And I've got all different methods on how to make the tubing a little bigger or a little smaller if it doesn't work, if it doesn't slide on really good. See how it, the notch there will keep the wire out of the way so the bowl, the red bowl, will slip back in. And you can use anything you want. You can get fancy with this if you want. But just, this will give you the idea of how to put it together. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It fits perfect. And the water's gonna guide down, go into the bowl and back into the trash can and then pump back up. Now you can trim it where you need it. I don't want a long spout on it. And that's it. I added some water into the plastic trash can and look, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So easy to make and no kidding. You can have the whole thing together in about 10 minutes. They're so fun and easy to make. So if you find the birds are slipping or you want to add a little bit stability for birds to stand around, you take a glue gun, you heat it up, and you go all the way around the top of a globe or a ball. If you can use a ball if you found one the same size, you must go all the way around and make sure both ends touch. You can build it up little by little, but the reason is, is if it should loosen up the glue, it can't go down because it's a globe. So it could fly off, but I've never had that. They stick pretty good. You can scratch a ball a little bit and then the glue will hold on pretty good. But that is a way you can make a perch so it's non-slip for the birds, if you want to. Some of the birds used it perfectly just the way it was. You saw it, they did a little slipping, but they kind of liked it. They were splashing water around, but then there were others that weren't sure about it. So once I went all the way around, you can see here how the bird could grip on to that little bit of glue that I had put around because they're so tiny, their feet, that that worked as a perfect perch. So here I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to slow water down if you've got too much water coming up through your pump. Because hummingbirds like a trickle. They like the water running slow. They're small, they're lightweight, they're little, and they only want a small amount of water. They're not looking for a big spray or a big splash of flowing water. You can take your soldering iron and you can make holes in the tubing or the straw that you've used. Preferably make the holes that are not submerged in the water. You can, it's not gonna hurt anything, but by having them just above the water line, underneath so nobody will even know that's happening so you won't see it under the bowl that will create some of the water flow going sideways back into the reservoir which you'll never see and a smaller amount coming through the top this creates the best flow for hummingbirds if it was for bigger birds it wouldn't matter but hummingbirds they want to come in sit there and not be shot into the air with fast flowing water and if you want, you can also just take a scissors and cut a few holes instead of using a soldering iron that are big enough for water to flow through and that will slow it down too. And you'll see here how beautiful it was when I plugged it in and look at the slow, gentle flow. Now that is what a hummingbird likes. 
So that's it. It's so easy to make. I'll make sure the links to some of the other fountains I made are underneath. They may go into a little more detail and you'll be able to see the different types of pumps you can buy. In the winter, if you don't have a lot of sun, you may want to go with electric. I have an electric power bank that I love. We're going to get more into that because it's emergency power for me as well. But either way, you can build them now and have them ready for the spring when the birds start coming back in your area if you don't have hummingbirds or you know what you can even make them as a gift these are so fun so i hope i gave you some ideas and you can see how the birds absolutely love it and especially hummingbirds because they love the flowing water down their feathers with that have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow bye bye oh this is just too cute